Dominic Michael, Tasmania. So I've played in Queensland for the last two seasons, just during the season got an upgrade um, and then got a call at the end of the season to come down to Tasmania and have a look around and then was lucky enough to get an offer from them to come play for their state team. So I jumped at the opportunity. I've definitely made it my new home. I'm really enjoying it down there and I'm glad I've made the move down to Tasmania for the, for the season. They've just presented a, a chance and a great opportunity for me to go and play cricket and be around a, a good professional unit and a good state that's really closely knit um, and they can see me batting in their top, top order or wherever they need me to slide in. I'm happy to put my hand up and I think it's an exciting role that you know, could lead to other possibilities. It definitely is an exciting opportunity, um, something that I've always hoped for and always aimed for and I was lucky enough to get the opportunity from Tasmania. Um, I never thought I'd get the opportunity and some people aren't lucky enough to have an offer from somewhere else but it's definitely something that I, I took with both hands and very, very grateful from them. It's a state that's done very well and in the last few years they've won trophies, they've been in finals, they've gone and got their players selected in Australian teams, which is what everyone strives to do. And just going there and learning from them is a big advantage for me because they're all great guys and they're easy to talk to and everyone's really willing to help out each other, which is something that you really want to be a part of. So I'm very happy. And it's just great because you can ask, go from Paney to, to Bales to Duels to Ed, anyone, and everyone's ready to offer, his, offer their experience. And then you've got Ridey and Marshy at the top who really know what they're doing and they're great guys as well. Uh, what's the best piece of advice you've received so far? Um, it was from Bailey, George Bailey, sorry, and Paney was just to go out there um, and be clear when you're batting, which is also what Punter said today, which is a good tip, and just to enjoy it and really play your own game. And We've been doing a few centre-wicket challenges and things here and there, which have been really fun, and just putting that into practice was being clear and being confident about your own game is what I've learnt the most so far. So it's going quite well. Is that a bit of a challenge for, for I mean, batsmen generally, but also for, for guys that are on the fringes a little bit where sometimes the danger is that you, you try too hard and think too much? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's something that I'm still trying to get my head around. Um, and especially when you're moving states, obviously you really want to fit in and impress people. But it is all about doing the hard yards, I think, and then having the ability or the clarity to go in and use that in a game and just trust yourself. So it is quite a, a big balancing act between you know, all those little voices that you hear inside your head when you're going out to bat, but definitely something that is obviously a key for all top batsmen is just believing in themselves and then when you're out in the middle, on the way to the middle, you've just got to be clear and, and clear in the head. In terms of describing yourself as a player, what, what would you say? Um, good team, man. <laughs> Um, enjoy the field and the sense of being out there in the middle. Um, batting wise, I think I hit them quite clean and hard. I've broken a few bats, but it might just be I'm swinging too hard and not timing it, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. But um, really enjoy the field, um, a, a clean hitter down the ground and bowl a few military mediums. So that's definitely where I can slot in, but I'm not too sure. I'm not. Not too much of a talk about myself, I'd just rather be out there with the boys and, and really getting feedback from them, I think.